Hi, I'm Sarip Kapoor. I'm a chef, culinary consultant and an author. Today I'm going to be making palak paneer with a twist. I call it baked palak paneer. And the ingredients I'll be using for this recipe are I'm going to start with sauteing some spinach for which I'll use butter, you could use olive oil too. We melt the butter, I've got some chopped onions here. I'll add a little bit of green chilies. I'm going to add spinach, a little bit of salt. Now we saute this till the spinach is wilted. Spinach is wilted. So now I'm going to make some white sauce for which I'm going to melt butter. I'm adding some plain flour. Just a quick stir till the mixture is frothy. I'm going to add some warm milk, a little bit of salt, some pepper, stirring continuously till you get a nice smooth sauce. So we have a nice smooth white sauce. So I'm going to add the white sauce to the spinach. We have the right consistency now. It thickens. See how thick it gets. For the paneer layer, uh, first what I'm going to do is I've got two bread slices. I've taken off the sides of the bread. Just break it into little bits. I'm going to soak this bread first with a little yogurt. This is Greek yogurt. I've got some boiled and grated potatoes here. Some grated paneer. Chopped coriander leaves, some chopped green chilies, a little bit of salt, and mix all this together. Time to assemble our baked palak paneer. So I've got this baking dish here. I'm going to first put the paneer lay and potato layer. Spread it evenly. We'll top it with our spinach mixture. Any amount of grated cheddar cheese. To add some color, a contrast to our green spinach, some sliced tomatoes. Our baked palak paneer now goes into the oven at 200 degrees for about 15 to 18 minutes. Our baked palak paneer is ready. This is a great change from the regular palak paneer, especially with kids. You just have to tell them you've made a spinach or gratin and they'll love it with some crusty bread. Or you can serve it with the regular Indian food as a side. Do try this recipe and leave a comment. I'm going to be back with many more recipes.